Hello you others, welcome here to this new episode where we will see some market analysis, how the ETFs are performing and some great news you should know regarding you hodler. So first of all, let's jump on our platform. We are now on the wallet section. Let's go on multi huddle. Let me just change it quickly to English. So it's perfect for everyone. And let's go check how Bitcoin is performing. I do remember you that we have trading view charts so that if you want to draw any type of analysis, you can do that directly on our platform. So now let's dive in and let's jump on the analysis we make last times. And we have seen, you know, a very nice flag creation of formation on the chart that we then ended up in a bullish way. So we are back, you know, to our strong point of control so we are back to the six uh, 64,100 and we are ranging between a 60k so 59 60k between a 70 72k so this is very important for us to understand that the market on the next days will move more or less between these two uh, huge support and resistance zones so now let me quickly cancel the previous analysis we made and now we know that you know thanks to Fibonacci retracement we can calculate and guys I really suggest to follow us from now and on because we will see many important um, let's say analytical tools and trading techniques together so for us it's very important the 0.78 level of the Fibonacci and the 0.61 so we know for sure that the chart if wants to you know uh, get some type of strength from the market will reach these two levels as a matter of fact this is what it happened so now we need to know what are the next steps so for sure we know that there is a strong uh, support zone here on the 0 0.5 so 62,770 62, and we can expect the chart to act in between these two zones of course if the chart takes strength it could touch clearly the 0 0.5 zone to then start performing again in the direction that he is going to so now let's talk about you know some updates that are actually moving this market in this way you know and there is uh there is a very important news regarding germany's selling of bitcoin and this is why this type of crash uh, happened on the market and here is the release of the ethereum etf so that actually brought the market back in so now let's jump on some very important news because i want to see together with you where the market should move the next days and if you know our type of analysis is backed by, uh, is backed by some type of analysis some type of data so let's jump on the binance liquidation heat map and we can see you know that on the three day chart there are huge liquidation zones around you know the 62,000 and the 67,000. if you want to have a greater view and understand better how the market could move in the next period we could zoom out on one week or one month chart and we can see that there are huge uh, liquidations so therefore huge order uh, that are set to be open or closed on the 63,000 so we have this confirmation on 64 and on 67 as you can see greener the line is or yellow the line is stronger liquidation may happen so uh, on the purpose of this analysis we can stick to the three days and we can see that there is a strong liquidation approaching 64k so it could be the first stop of the chart to then retrace back and of course we have always two scenarios so it could go even lower to then reaching you know uh, other type of liquidation zone because the market always want to reach the strongest and the most you know uh money flowing place so if you pass me the term you know is the place where there are the most uh money flowing in so of course keep this in mind uh it's very important when you um, 
want to do trading to calculate a lot of different things so now let's see the global liquidity cycle because we are now in a period very 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 bullish for the global liquidity since you know the liquidity it's moving over period of times and here there is like a, a chart that can represent that and you have to follow the black line so of course the uh, red line uh, it's a perspective of what it will happen but the red the black line is the uh, line of what is happening on the market right now and we can see that on the 2024 year it, there could be some uh, interesting liquidity uh, coming into the market due to different factors uh, very very important we have to check the ETFs uh, of Bitcoin and Ethereum and I suggest to use this website sosovalue.xyz and it gives you all the information and direction regarding bitcoin spot etf and ethereum etf so now let's go check the first one because it's very important to see you know how much volume it actually generates in the first days of uh you know um, of presenting this type of etf product on the market and we can have and see different type of uh, you know metrics but for us the most important metric is the value traded so we can see that on the first day Bitcoin was about 1 billion dollars of value traded and the cumulative uh, net inflow and we see it's growing over a period of time and now it reached almost 20 billion dollars but what I want to see right now is the Ethereum ETF that has just been announced yesterday so this is a very important news because let me get it because ETF uh, on Ethereum are have been released on the market on the 23rd of July and we have seen a great inflow of capital due to that as main ETF um, releasers there are you know uh, all these type of firms so Vanek, Bitwise, ProShares, Valkyrie and so on so forth of course I do suggest always to check the market as we are doing on SOS value to understand if the market is moving strong or not and here are all the uh, starting fees that you can check and the type of listings and dates that it should happen as well as the custody of the exchange but most most important of everything we have to understand if the market is actually you know going on some type of directions because we want to understand if the market will be bullish or bearish in the next future so we can check that uh, thanks to Velodata app which gives us you know open, open interest changes and as well it gives us a funding APR heat map the funding APR is very important because it tells us how many traders and how many people are actually investing in a specific coin. And as you can see right now, you know, on the left side, I'm watching Bitcoin, Ethereum, BNB, Solana, XRP, Dogecoin, Tone, ADA, TRX, AVEX, and so on. We can see that all of them are more or less in a green or blue situation, which means that the funding rate is lower than uh, what it should be so therefore there are not many orders open the market it's pretty cold and actually the colors do help us in that because when the APR reaches a strong amount uh, it's a it's a sign that the market is stopping so as long as the market shows you know green and blue uh, signs of funding APR heat map then it could be that we are on a bullish side so it could retrace from here of course always study and analyze any type of coins you want to trade this is not financial advice it's just information based on education so this is very 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 important but don't fade don't FOMO on anything because Bitcoin is still the ninth uh, biggest asset by market cap on the in the world and Ethereum is on the 28th so there is still room to grow for Ethereum, but Bitcoin, it already reached the top 10 uh, assets by market cap. And the first one, as you can see, it's gold, second, Apple, Microsoft and Nvidia. So the direction is uh, on the upside. We do expect ratings from Bitcoin, but of course, let's always monitor what is happening compared to, you know, uh, other companies in the market now another important thing that we need to understand is of course 
how the market is performing in here and we can see this is guys a similar um similar application to the one we just saw on velo which gives us funding uh, apr heat map and here is more represented for uh, other coins as well and you can see that the situation you know on percentage of longs on people is still stable you know there is not one single direction as far as we know uh, on the analysis that have been conducted from uh, the ethereum atf application we can see that there was uh, actually a whale that withdrew more than 8000 bitcoin ethereum from binance from 27 may to 29 he still didn't sold so this is actually you know uh, a strength for us and this is actually the chart of this whale so they bought you know uh, ethereum tokens on top of the market they started transferring slash selling this type of token but they still do own them if they will sold they will lost 3.6 million so i think the direction here for them should be on the upside as well and here are all the transactions and as you can see uh this type of account is not moving since almost two months so Let's see if this is any type of bullish sign. Of course, we need to analyze any type of data we have. So Ethereum ETFs are going strong, a lot of adoption compared to uh, Bitcoin ETF. There is a strong adoption as well. And we see a net asset inflow of 8 billion on the Ethereum uh, ETF grayscale so there is strong interest regarding that of course guys i want to remind you that on your holder you have a lot of bonuses that you can use there is the deposit of a hundred percent bonus on the value that you deposit and this is up to five thousand dollars so whatever amount you're gonna deposit your holder is gonna double that so you can use that amount on the multi-holder chart for you to trade and i do want to remind also to stay up to date stay tuned with our youtube with our uh, master class and webinars because we do analyze many coins we do uh, provide new listing and analysis on those so don't miss out click that plus button and i'm gonna see you the next time